Dari, hello. It's uh, the middle of November 2020 and you're looking at my green bicycle, which is going to get yet another upgrade. Now, if you're a cyclist, you're probably aware, aware of this uh, phenomenon, which is that you've got a bicycle, you think it's perfect and you think, hmm, I just need to make one little upgrade. Um, in my case, um, it's to do with the front lighting, actually, although this is actually um, a video about handle, handlebar tape fitting. So as you can see... It's related because I've just managed to obtain at a bargain price the lovely Garmin U28800. And it comes with a Garmin out front mount, which is necessary to fit because it doesn't fit onto a mount like this. It fits onto a male version of a mount like that. And I don't have a male version of the mount like that because if, it, if, it, if I did, I could stick it there. Um... So that's all relevant because the handlebar tape on my bicycle has been abominable and, and, and falling apart for some time. I've invested my £30, believe it or not, and bought some new handlebar tape. Let me advertise what I bought. Eastern handlebar tape. Eastern is a brand I thoroughly recommend. Uh, their wheels are second to none, and I thought I'd give their microfiber handlebar tape a go. So I just want to point out, if you're going to fit handlebar tape to your bicycle, a couple of um, things that you should do. Firstly, it's possibly a good idea to have two people around because you can shout to the person, hey, hold this, uh, get some tape, I, I need this tight, etc. So preferably have two people. Secondly, um, it's, it's a good idea to tape using some thin, very sticky duct tape in my case, the actual... Uh, cables to the actual handle of us before you start otherwise these cables are going to flop about so you'll see i've got this white duct tape and i've got the uh, the cables i've only got one cable here because i've got a uh, wireless uh, gear change i've got the brake cables wired to the back side of this Let's see if you can see that here there you are can you see that wire it's wired there so it doesn't flap about it doesn't flap about and the second thing you've got to want to know is that when you start to apply the handlebar tape it's got to go at an angle like this. So not like this, but like this. So that's on, on, on the right side. Of course, it has to mirror image. So on the other side, it does go like that. But on the right-hand side, you start at this point. This is the old handlebar tape I'm, at, I'm about to take off. But you're going to place the handlebar tape like this, to exaggerate. And you want to leave it enough so that there's something to tuck in here. Now, I've slightly messed it up on that, <laughs> as you do. I think the other thing to note is that the first handlebar you do is going to be the worst one. You think, after you've done that, you think, oh, I know what I've done wrong. So you must need enough tape sticking out so that you can plug it with a plug. You can get all sorts of fancy plugs, but when you buy a handlebar tape, it always comes with a, a cheapo plastic plug. And to be honest, there's nothing wrong with that. I would say that I always keep a spare plug in my bicycle box here which I, I cycle with because if it comes out mid-ride it's really annoying uh, right so that's all you need to know you need to get your tape this tape is microfiber on the outside it's kind of got a not overtly sticky but there's some kind of you see that shiny surface there that's the bit that's going to under compression start to stick to the uh, to the actual uh, handlebar itself OK, that's all you need to know. Get on with it. I think there's no excuse to have um, a, a tatty set of handlebar tape. Handlebar tape comes up to about £30 for, for a, a set. Don't forget, of course, when you order the tape, you get the left and the right side, of course. OK, Diary, that's it for now. I'll speak to you later.